All right, so this is our final section. It's uh, 7.1. Uh, this is going to be over sequences and series. So uh, we're going to start out with sequences. And what a sequence is, is a, uh, it's sort of like a function where you can only input whole number, uh, whole number values. And instead of using parentheses, they use the uh, number that you're on as a subscript. So let's say we have this uh, sequence a n equals 3 n plus n squared. And we want to find the first uh, four terms of sequence. So uh, the first four terms of the sequence would be a1, a2, a3, and a4. So the little subscript tells you guys what number or what term of the sequence you're on. So a1, this is the first term, n is 1, so we just plug 1 in into the equation, we get three plus one is four. Then for a two, we put two in for the ends in the equation, so we get three times two plus two squared. Let's see, that's six plus four. Six plus four is 10. For a three, we put three in for the ends, so three times three plus three squared. Let's see, what's that? Three times three is nine. Um, plus 9 is 18. And then A4, we put 4 in for the n values. So 3 times 4 plus uh, 4 squared. 3 times 4 is 12. Let's see, 12 plus 16. Um, 12 plus 16 is going to be 28. See, 12, 16, yeah. Okay. So we got our first four terms of the sequence. That's all there is. If they wanted like the 11th term, you would say like, all right, let's find the A11. That would be three times 11 plus 11 squared, which would be 33 plus 121, which would be 154. So they could ask you other terms as well. And if you have the equation, you can figure them out. So let's look at one more of these. And uh, you guys are going to have some initial questions and the homework are going to be kind of like this. Uh, let's say a n is n plus 2 over n plus 3. And we want to find first, let's say, four terms. So a1, a2, a3, and a4. So when, for a1, we get 1 plus 2 over 1 plus 3. For a2, it'll be 2 plus 2 over 2 plus 3. For a3, it'll be 3 plus 2 over 3 plus 3. And for a4, it'll be 4 plus 2 over 4 plus 3. Okay, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, so this is 3 fourths. Then we get 4 over 5, then we get 5 over 6, and you guys probably can see the pattern. We get 6 over 7. And that's the first four terms of our sequence. So these regular sequence types where they give you guys a formula with a, a subscript n, ask you guys to find the first four or five terms of the sequence. You just plug those first four or five, whatever those uh, subscripts are, you plug them in for n in the equation, and then that gets your answer. Um, the next group are what are called recursive. These types are a little weird. So these are recursive sequences. So they'll give you a starting number like a1 equals two. And then they'll give you some sort of expression like a n equals, maybe it's uh, two times a n minus one plus one for n bigger than one. So the first term of the sequence, and let's let's find first four terms again. So a one they gave us, that's two. We're already done with that one. 
The rest of them, so when when n is 2 for a2, 2 is bigger than 1, so we got to use this formula here. And the weird thing is what we're plugging in for is right here, that's going to be a subscript of the uh, thing, and it's going to depend on a previous term. So we get 2 times a2 minus 1 plus 1. So this 2 minus 1 is happening in a subscript. So this is 2 times a2 minus 1 is 1 plus 1. So this is 2 times the a1 term plus 1. The a1 term is 2. So this is 2 times 2 plus 1, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5. So the a1 here refers back to the first term in the sequence. And then you replace uh, a1 with the 2. And then you can get the a2 term. So then let's look at the a3 term. That's the next one we want. We want 2 times a3 minus 1 plus 1, which is 2 times a2 plus 1. So the a3 term depends on the a2 term. And this is what they mean by recursive, is to get to the next term, it depends on previous terms. So we say, well, what was a2? a2 we found out a bit ago. It was number 5. So we get 2 times 5 plus 1. That's 10 plus 1 is 11. So a3 is 11. Then a4, we want 2 times a4 minus 1 plus 1. That is 2 times a3 plus 1. And we say, well, what's a3? Well, we just figured out a3. a3 was 11. So we get 2 times 11 plus 1. That's 22 plus 1 is 23. Okay, so with the recursive sequence, that's how you go through and work it. You have to be given the initial number so you know where the sequence starts. And then when you want the second number, that depends on previous numbers. The third number to pre depends on previous stuff. And the fourth number depends on previous ones as well. So let's look at a second uh, recursive sequence type. And then we'll look at series. And then that'll, that'll finish up the uh, material for the course. Um, we'll go from there. So let's see here. Um, so let's say a1 equal 2, a2 equals negative 3, and then a n equals 3 times a n minus 2 plus a n minus 1 uh, for n greater than 2. So this is, recursive sequence is going to depend on two of the previous terms instead of just the previous term. So we want to find first four terms of the sequence. So a1 is 2. We got that one for free. a2 is negative 3. We got that one as well. Uh, since this depends on the previous two terms, they have to tell us uh, two of the initial starting ones instead of just the single one so you can figure the rest out. a3 is 3 times a3 minus 2 plus a3 minus 1. So this is going to be 3 times a1 plus a2. a1 was 2, so this is 3 times 2, plus a2 is a negative 3. So let's see here, that's 6 min uh, plus negative 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. So we now we know the a3 term. So when we want the a4 term, it's 3 times a Again, we're plugging in for n here and plugging in for n there. So it's a4 minus 2 plus a4 minus 1. So this is going to be 3 times a4 minus 2 is a2 plus a4 minus 1 is a3. So the third term depended on the first and the second. The fourth term but depends on the second and the third term. So let's see here. a2 is the negative 3 here. Plus, let's see here, a3 was 3. So we get, uh, let's see here, it's negative 9 plus 3. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. So that's basically how recursive sequences work. Um, not too bad. It's just uh, you have to use some of the previous terms to get to the next term. Uh, final thing we'll do is we'll stop with series. Um, series. This is where you guys add up a bunch of the terms of a sequence. So we're going to look at uh, doing probably about three examples of this. So let's say the first example 
we want the sum of let's say j equals one up to four of let's say two to the j power plus j plus negative one to the jth power. So two to the jth power plus j plus negative one to the jth power. So what you do, the bottom number tells you the number you're starting at, the top number tells you the number you're stopping at, uh, and you're gonna hit all whole numbers in between. So our allowed values of j, our j could be one, then two, then three, then four. And what you'll do is for the j equals one case, you'll replace the j's with one. So for the j equals one case, that's our starting case, we get two to the first, plus j plus negative one to the first. Then j can be two, so we'll plug two in for the j's. And we separate the next term from the first term with a plus. When you guys see a series with this uh, capital sigma, that says the terms get separated by addition symbols. So now j is two, so we'll get two to the second, replacing all the j's with twos now. Then plus, now j could be three, so replace, we're in the new terms, so we put a plus, replace all the j's with threes, and then plus the final case, j is four. So j was one, I plugged one in for all the j's, wrote that term down, plus then j could be two, so I plugged two in for all the j's, then j could be three, then j could be four, so I know that this down here is my start number, this is my stop number, and I hit all, I count up by all the whole numbers in between them. So let's figure out what this is. Um, we get two plus one is three, uh, negative one to the first is three minus one, plus let's see here, four plus two is six, uh, negative one squared is positive one, two cubed is eight, plus three, eight plus three is 11. Uh, that's negative one to an odd power, so it's a minus one. And then let's see here, two to the fourth is 16, plus two is 20, negative one to an even power is a positive one. So let's see here, we get two plus seven, plus 10, plus 21. Okay, two plus seven is nine. 9 plus 21 is 30, plus 10 is 40, so this ends up being 40. All right, so we'll do um, a couple more of these series, two more of these examples, then that should do it for the course. And we'll stop there. So let's say this time, let's use a different value like k. Let's say k is three up to six of k squared plus k. So the allowed values of, of k are k starts at three, then it could be four, could be five, could be six. So k is three, so we get three squared plus three. Then next term k is four, so we get uh, four squared plus four. Then k is five, so we get five squared plus five. Then k is six, so we get six squared plus six. Okay, so we started at three, counted up until we got to six. So three, four, five, six. Now I just total them up. Let's see here, nine plus three is 12, plus 16 plus four is 20, 25 plus five is 30, 36 plus uh, six is 42. So let's see here, we get basically 50 from the 20 plus the 30, 12 plus 42 is 54, and so we get 104. Okay, so let's look at one more and then uh, say it's good enough there. So let's do some of j equals two up to seven of three j minus one. So j can be two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven. So we're gonna have uh, a lot of terms to write down. So j is two, so we get three times two minus one, plus j is three, so three times three minus one, plus j is four, so three times four minus one, 
plus j is 5, so 3 times 5 minus 1, plus j is 6, so 3 times 6 minus 1, plus j is finally 7, so 3 times 7 minus 1. Since 7 is our stopping number, that's the final number we have to do for uh, j's. So j starts at 2, stops at 7, and counts up by 1. So let's see what we got. This is 6 minus 1 is 5, 9 minus 1 is 7, um, 12 minus 1 is 11. Uh, let's see here, 15 minus 1. I messed this up. This seems weird. Minus 1 is 5. 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 1 is 8. Okay, that's that's what's weird. Okay. Um, 12 minus 1 is 11. 15 minus 1 is 14. And then I kind of see that there's a pattern of add 3 each time. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. So... Sometimes you can kind of see a pattern starts to emerge. Um, 18 minus 1 is 17. Let's see, it's plus 3 again. 21 minus 1 is 20. Um, so sometimes, like on some of these other ones, like 12 to 20 to 30 to 42, it's kind of hard to see if there was a pattern 2 to 7 to 10 to 21. It's hard to see what the pattern is, but occasionally you can kind of see a pattern. Um, Let's see, uh, 5 plus 8 is 13. Uh, let's see, 11 plus 14 is 25. Uh, 17 plus 20 is 37. So let's see, 13 plus 37 is 50. Start right, let's see, you got 40. That's 50 plus 25 is 75. So basically, you just uh, see your starting J or your starting K value or whatever variable you're using. Uh, count up by ones till you hit the stopping number. And then separate each of the terms by pluses as you write them out. And then you just go through and just add the stuff up. And that finishes it off. And that's our last section for the course. So uh, after this, we just got uh, test number four in the final to get done.